welcome to this video. Um, if you watched part one, thanks. If you're back to watch part two, thanks again. Uh, it's been a hot second since I've actually came in and updated about the sky. Uh, so I am working on a Wind Waker Ganondorf ball joint doll. Uh, I've had some progress going quite a bit, I think. Um, what do I start with first? Uh, I did start on the head. So, uh, it's all white, so it might not pick up that well with the, uh, ring light that I just got, but I got this guy going right here. So you can shade that a little bit. Um, so I'm sort of using this wooden ball as a base to build him upon, uh, so I don't have to work so hard for a perfect circle. Uh, but there he is, right there. I am eventually going to be doing some extra stuff with him. I need to drill out a hole in the top of his head. Uh, he should be very used to that. But I need to drill out a hole in the top of his head and uh, insert a magnet. Um, I do have it up here on my blueprint. But inserting a magnet so I'll eventually be able to give him the forehead jewelry later. And then I do want to cut out <sighs> the show up a part in his mouth. Uh, I feel like a really important part of his character in The Wind Waker is that he's got this really creepy smile. <laughs> so I want to make sure that he is, has the ability to smile uh, in a doll form. So um, another thing that I also started working on was uh, separating his pieces. So I showed you guys as a whole before. Actually, um, I took him outside yesterday and I sanded him down a little bit so I can see how everything was uh, conforming, but I have three pieces now. So I have his flakes, his ham hocks here. I thought that is the wrong piece. I have his belly. And then I have his chest piece. So I have three separate pieces here to work on. I will be making, um, basically like a dome, domes on the inside of his chest and the bottom of his legs. And then the belly part will turn into a bean. A bean, which is also on my blueprint. Maybe I can show it to you. This is probably gonna be really noisy. Really I wanna turn it. There it is, the bean. That bean. <laughs> So, um, it probably won't be as long as that, because uh, I want to keep him stout. Um, sometimes when you're working on a bowl joint doll, they can kind of elongate over time, which is what we, we don't want. Which is natural, because you're stacking parts on top of each other now. But So, I've got him going here with three different parts, which took a really long time, because I was using an X-Acto knife. Uh, I'm sure there's probably another tool that I could have used that would have been like way easier on me, but um, with something like a saw, you're just not going to be able to get that nice, um, accurate sort of contour that I was looking for. Um, same thing with the belly, there's kind of like a curved area here. But eventually, uh, I will start doming this out. I have realized that I did not have enough clay for this. So I'm going to need to run out to the store and hope that they have some of this stuff right here. Uh, this is my favorite paper clay to use. It is creative paper clay. Not sponsored. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anything right now. My channel's too small. Um, but creative paper clay. It's... Um, very buttery, like soup or dough. It's kind of like bread dough, and um, it smells like bread dough. It's really good. That was weird to say, but it does. It smells pretty good. Um, and it's just really clean, uh, clean, creamy. It's really creamy, and um, once it dries down, it is solid like a rock. So uh, I have definitely dropped uh, ball joint doll pieces before and they've still held together. So I really like creative paper clay. I need to go out and get more of that 
last time I did those. Ain't nobody has it. Nobody had creative paper clay. Maybe it was because of the holidays or I don't know. But either I'll get some more or I'll order it. Cause um I still have I still need to make his arms. I still need I'll need clay to make this little middle piece. Um two spherical areas so that it, they can fit in the size. This will all need additional clay just to uh, get rid of some of the lumpy bumpiness that he's got going on here. Eventually I'll need to fill that in, but we're taking it one step at a time. Um, the thing that I'm going to be focusing on next is this right here. Um, so we're going to want to, my ring light is very bright. <laughs> we're going to want to take this and um, I'll take it outside again with my sanding paper and my trusty dusty mask and uh, we'll sand this down so that this will concave inward into the bean, the bean shape and he'll, this part will be able to slide around on the top like a ball joint. Um, yeah. I think that's really all that I did. I sanded him, I cut the pieces, um, and it's a bit cold right now, so I'll probably have to take this out tomorrow and do some sanding. Um, but yeah, he's coming along slowly but surely. Uh, making the doll is always fun and like terrible at the same time because it's like I want to be done, but I'm way far away from that. I want to be done so I can make clothes. That's the fun part. Making clothes and then painting him. I want to get to the part where I can paint him. Um, so yeah. Lots to get to. I'll work on a belly piece. And then the next thing I'll probably do in the next video is uh, go over how the hell I'm going to work out his jaw. I do have here on my plant, you can probably see it right here, that uh, I'm most likely going to have some magnet mechanism that allows his uh, jaw to open and close, so we will see. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything, but I, I don't think so. Oh, I do have one more thing. I did insert a hook. Who knows if that's actually going to be able to stay there when I start adding the slip and slide part on the inside. Um, but basically, what this is going to do is it's going to uh, keep the neck in place and it might be the thing that holds the elastic that will keep the legs in place as well. Um, but since there's, I'm not going to give Ganondorf any glass eyes, I feel like that would conflict with the whole cartoony style. Uh, but since I'm not going to give him any glass eyes, there's really no need for his head to be hollow. So, if his head's that hollow, I've got to figure out how else I might keep the head on. So, I've decided that I'm going to do it this way. You can kind of see that there's a ring on the bottom of that where the uh, elastic is going to hook into. So, come on, come on. There we go. So, you can see that this little hook catch with this one. And that's what will keep the uh, head in place. Uh, there's definitely some more clay that I want to add in here. Just to, ooh, that is so bright, girl. <laughs> there's some more clay that I'm going to add in there, um, just so I can sort of fine tune his silhouette a bit more and make him exactly how I want. But I am happy with his head movement. His head can lean back a bit. Can dip down forward and move from side to side. So we're looking pretty good. Let's hope that I don't fuck it up. <laughs> we'll see. I guess there's always some part in the project where it's like, oops, a daisy. I think when I was making All Might or Yagi, his head actually split into three parts. So I had to uh, jerry rig that and super glue everything back together. I don't crust my fingers. I ain't gotta do that. We'll see. I think that's all I got for you guys. So, uh, if you tuned in to watch this video, thank you very much for stopping by and looking into my nonsense. 
uh, we will see how I edit this video. I'm very new to video editing, so I'm cross my fingers. Um, oh! Hands and feet. Maybe I'll get to that later too, but I'm actually thinking about um, maybe 3D printing those, kind of like I had Yagi's hands 3D printed. Uh, I'll show that later. Some of you are like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, finally, officially, I think that's the end of this video. So again, thank you if you stopped by. I really appreciate it. Um, there are other things that YouTubers are supposed to say here, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so goodbye!